Customers often ask me, how are you going to protect my property while you're doing my roof? Or have you ever damaged anything? Here's what I tell them. Yes, I've damaged customers' property before. I'll tell you that story in a minute. But before then, think about this. When you're getting a roof replaced, everything that's up there has to come down. I wish we could just make it evaporate into thin air, but so far no luck on that. And it's a lot of heavy stuff too. Literally tons of debris has to come off of the roof and get put into a dumpster. And that process really takes some careful consideration and effort. When you're working on a roof, whatever you have up there, be that a hammer, a saw, a shingle, a water jug, everything is at risk of falling off the roof. So really our first area of focus is properly securing things on the roof so they don't fall off. But then of course the old roof. It's gotta come down, right? If an object can be moved out of the danger zone, we move it. Things like bird feeders, ornaments, decorations, picnic tables, deck chairs, and so forth. We try to move them out of the line of fire so they don't get damaged. Then there are some things that can't be moved. Flowers and shrubs, air conditioning units, stuff fastened to the walls, even siding can get dinged up if we don't take care. So for those things, we cover them up so that whatever trash does fall doesn't damage them. But even using tarps to cover grass and shrubs, we have to be super careful because if we let them on the ground too long on a hot day, they end up burning the grass or plants. So we have to have somebody on the ground as our kind of our groundskeeper who quickly cleans things up and makes sure this kind of thing doesn't happen. We try to direct the trash away from spots where we risk damaging something and can often throw it directly from the roof right into the dumpster. But that kind of depends on each property and how close we can get with the dumpster. We do also have a nifty roofer's buggy, as we call it, which we can maneuver around as a mobile dumpster to minimize the trash that ends up on the ground. Another big concern for our customers is nails on the ground. Nobody wants a flat lawnmower tire or worse. It is a real hazard. A small house roof can have 6,000 to 10,000 nails on it. So let's say we get 99% of them recovered and disposed of. That still means there could be 60 to even 100 nails left. This is why our cleanup after the job is so important. We really try hard to find and pick up every nail, every piece of trash. We have special magnets on wheels that we run through the lawn and flower beds multiple times because we want to leave your property safe and clean. Our crew people and project managers all care about your property. And yes, we have damaged property before, but I can say honestly, it doesn't happen often. And if it does, we go out of our way and to great expense to rectify or restore anything that's been damaged. For instance, one time we had a shingle fall on somebody's upholstered deck chair. The problem was that they had a set of six, and so fixing one meant the other five were gonna be slightly mismatched. So what did I do? I paid to have all six of them reupholstered. And you can be sure I changed my process to make sure that it didn't happen again. Roof replacement is a big deal. It's disruptive. It's hazardous for people on the ground, people on the roof, and even for bird feeders in the flower bed. That's why we've spent years trying to refine our process for keeping everybody and everything safe from the start of the project to the finish. I think we're pretty good at it. So if you need a roofer, get Joyland to keep your place safe and clean so you can be happy not only with the price, but with the cleanup and the care also.